Okay, so here we have a time value of money question that is a little bit more challenging. Kendra invests into an annuity fund. She invested 2,400 Rand quarterly for 13 years into a fund that earned interest at 10% per annum compounded quarterly. After that, the money remained in the fund earning interest. How much is it worth three quarters after the last investment? Okay, so if we were to have a timeline, okay, this is time zero. And now for 13 years, wherever that is, for 13 years, it earns interest. After that 13 years, it's in there for another three quarters. So see, she makes quarterly investments. Okay, so she's not investing every year. She's investing four times every year. And after the 13 years, there's another three quarters. Okay, and the question is, what is the value at this time? What is the future value? Now, we can very easily go and calculate the future value at time 13. That's, that's a normal annuity question. So that will be the future value is x1 plus i to the power of n minus 1. Just this simple formula. Okay, but now we notice that we are going to have to go add another three time periods. But I can't go and add it here because that will mean there are three extra payments and they aren't. The payments or the investments stopped at time 13. The money only earned interest. So all I have to do is to take this answer that I get and compound it for three more time periods. I'll just compound it further. And how will we do that? Well, let's just use the formula. So what is going to happen is we, this is going to be our formula. Let me just use a different color. Okay. We will have the future value of the annuity would simply be this formula. And the answer to this formula will give me the amount after 13 years. Okay, but then after that, I have to compound it. So I, I'll have another bracket here. I'll have to compound it for another three time periods. I'm just going to use M for this. This will be my second time period. That will be my first time period. Okay, now let's go and see which values I have. Do I have the future value? No, I don't. I'm busy with my stock taking. Do I have my recurring investment amount? They said it was 2,400 quarterly. Okay, important, quarterly. So this is 2,400 every quarter. Do I have my interest? Remember, we must use quarterly interest and they have given us yearly interest per annum, 10% per annum. So we have to ask ourselves, if I get it, Every quarter, how many times do I get it in a year? We already saw it's four times in one year that we will earn interest. So we must divide the 10% with four. And because it's percent, we also need to divide with 100. So I'm going to divide with 400. Now, N is now the number of tie investments she has made. Okay, she's made four investments every year for 13 years. So it's four times 13 which gives me 52 and finally M is the second time period and that's the portion where she's not investing but she is still earning interest so that M uh, it's, it's earning the same interest rate but uh, that M is different that M is now only for three times is she earning interest she's getting interest every quarter but only for three quarters so that's it and now we simply substitute okay so in substituting we get 2400 1 plus 10 over 400 to the power of 52 minus 1 all over 10 over 400 and then this whole thing is multiplied again with the bracket 1 plus i 
10 over 400 this time only to the power of 3 okay so it's calculated 2400 times and then the big bracket on top there's two brackets 1 plus 10 over 400 to the power of 52 minus 1 that's my top bracket close that bracket divide and I'm just going to put this in a bracket as well okay so that I divide with 10 over 400 okay so divided by in brackets 10 over 400 close that bracket and then this whole thing must now again be multiplied with this last bracket and that one is 1 plus 10 over 400 to the power of 3 and that gives me an answer of 269,940 69,940 and I think it was 71 cents okay there we go that is how much there will be in the bank account at the end of three more time periods after the annuity matured another way you could have done it was to simply go and work out at time 13 what was the what was the future value of the annuity and get that answer first after you got that answer then you just multiply or compound it for another three time periods and that's it I really don't think that's too difficult I hope you agree with me so uh, good luck cheers